friends. Welcome to Stay Stitching. My name is Carla. I am very glad that you are here. Today's video is going to be about 10 of the new fabrics that are in mayfieldfabric.com. And these are vintage, not new. I do have a shipment of new fabrics coming in that should be in this week, um, but they're not here yet. And so these are new to the store vintage fabrics. I'm going to try to be pretty quick today because I know that I have gone on and on and on on these, um, on these types of videos. So this is my yardage information. So if you see me looking at this, it's where I've written down exactly how many yards there are so that I can let you know. That way, um, if you see a fabric that you like the looks of, you will, but you, and you know that you have something in mind, you'll be able to tell right away whether you have, um, whether there's enough of that piece of fabric to make what you're thinking it would work for. And if there's not, you know, if you need four yards and there's three yards of it, then you won't have to bother going over to the store. But if you hear that there's four yards of something and you need four yards, that might help you decide, well, I better go over to the store and check that out um, right now. So th that's what this is when you see me looking at that. And this my beautiful, my husband's beautiful penmanship. Isn't that, I love it. He's a fountain pen geek. Look how pretty that ink is. Okay, that's enough. You, you're probably not interested in that. Um, I just really love it. First fabric. This is a little jewel. There's just a little over a yard here. There's actually a yard and a quarter. We have it listed as one yard in the store because there are some sizable holes on one end. Can you see those? Right there and here and here. And so, you know, you have a full yard of this. Now, this is interesting because when I first saw it, um, I knew right away that it was beautiful and I knew right away that it was vintage. That was clear to me. Um, I kind of pegged it at maybe 50s or even 40s. But then when I was taking pictures of it, I noticed, let's see if I can find it. Okay, here's some. I noticed these holes with the thread, the cotton string still in them. And they're at various places throughout this fabric. You can see over here, you can see the big holes. And then on this side, like here's a bunch of them. Can you see that? I hope you can see that. So when I saw that, I immediately thought, this is flower sack fabric. And so I kind of have changed my date to um, perhaps the 30s for this one. And um, when we have a special vintage fabric, we do charge more than the others. This one yard piece is in the shop for ten dollars and i think it is well worth ten dollars i think it's a piece of history i am not 100 percent certain this is flower sack fabric but i'm fairly certain it is and anyway it's a little over a yard and it's beautiful and it's 100 percent cotton it's loosely woven it is not a finely woven cotton it's clearly vintage i believe it is 36 inches wide let's see if we have that Thirty-eight inches wide. That's another indicator that this is vintage fabric. So there's that. Now, what pattern would I make with this? This pattern for this adorable cobbler's apron calls for two yards of fabric, but wouldn't the front of this apron be adorable in this? And um, I'm not sure I would ever put the pockets on that, but I have always wanted to make one of these, like to wear to work. I'm not kidding. I think these are adorable. And I just haven't gotten up the nerve to make one. See, look at the back. 
I just think that if you, you know, wore a little t-shirt underneath there that you could get away with wearing this out in public. Um, the pockets aren't for me. I don't need any um, added bulk down there, but I think that this fabric would be ideal for some kind of apron, so I paired those two together. This is a thrifted pattern. It's clearly vintage um, from the 50s, I'm sure. Um, I think something like an Ogden cami would be a really nice way to honor that fabric. It would be fun and easy and comfortable to wear and um, I just, you know, that would be a nice thing to do with it as well, something small like that. Okay, this next fabric, when I saw it from across the room, I was like, okay, yeah, baby, I'm coming. And it's a little bit Puccini, 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 Puccini-esque, I thought, and um, there's a lot of it. There's six and a half yards. Can I find it? Yeah, there's six and a half yards, it's 52 inches wide. Now, this fabric is by um, Boussac. I'm sure I'm butchering the pronunciation of that. It is a French name, and this is vintage fabric. It is from 1984. I know that precisely because it says MCMLXXXIV, and I asked Google what that was. And Google told me 1984. So that's what I'm going to say here. Now, I was an English teacher for many, many years, and 1984, you know. But this is not a bad, don't think Orwellian when you look at this. Um, think gorgeous French designer fabric. And I believe this is a cotton lawn. Um, there's a lot of it. Uh, the research that I did tells me that Boussac is still in production and that they focus primarily on um, home furnishing fabrics and the things that I saw were stunning. Just absolutely gorgeous. Continuing in this kind of modern um, style that this, that this fabric is. Only, you know, like more like today's modern style. Now, I have an interesting proposition and I don't know how I'm going to do it, and I want you to think about this. Sometimes when I get vintage fabric, there's a lot of it. And most people don't need six and a half yards of fabric. Um, and so I was, this is an idea that I'm just toying with. Let me know what you think and if you have any ideas about how to make it happen. I think it would be fun to challenge other YouTubers with sewing channels to sew something out of fabric that I have a lot of. Just as a fun thing, you know, maybe a prom promotional thing for Mayfield Fabric, we would say clearly that that's where it came from and that I sell vintage fabric, but how fun would it be if I cut this piece of fabric in half, leaving two three and a quarter yard pieces, and sent half of it to another sewing channel YouTuber, and we both agreed to make something out of it. And not the same pattern, nothing like that, just here we both have three and a half yards of this gorgeous fabric, what are we going to make out of it? This would not cost the person I'm sending it to, it would be a fun challenge that I would just be doing for fun. Um, I get a good deal on all my vintage fabric, it takes me a while to find, I do hunt for it, and I go to all different kinds of places and I consider it somewhat of a job to hunt down this beautiful fabric, however, I would send it out for free. For the fun of the challenge and the possible promotion of Mayfield Fabric. Just let me know what you think about that. Um, if that would be fun for people, if it sounds interesting, let me know. Just in the comments below, um, give me an idea of whether that sounds intriguing or that it's something that you would like to participate in and um, we'll go from there. I'll get back from you to you in a week or two and let you know what I've decided to do with that. So, what kind of pattern do I think would be really cute with that dress, with that fabric? This dress here. This is a C and Sew 3875. This is probably from, 
I would say, let's see, do I have a date? It's not full on 80s because their hair isn't out of control. I'm wondering if this is very early 80s or very late 70s. I don't know. It doesn't matter. I'm wasting time. This is why my videos are so long, y'all, because I can't stay focused. All right, anyway, I think this would be a great dress for it. There's lots of area here to show off the pattern. Um, it's simple. It is a wrap. The bodice is a wrap. The dress is not a real wrap. The skirt doesn't wrap at all. So that's one thing that I would pick to use for that. All right, next fabric. There's nothing inherently special about this fabric. I bought it because of the beautiful color. This is Robin's Egg Blue Fine Whale Corduroy. <coughs> Excuse me. I just bought it because of the color and because of how absolutely darling everybody looks in their pinafores. From the Clio to that one that um, I sew a lot. Is her name Amanda? She's just a doll. She just did a pinafore from another indie company and it's so cute and I think it would be flattering on anyone. That would be cute in this fabric. Um, so how seven has a couple of patterns one, they have a pinafore that is um, kind of a spin-off of the Burnside bibs done by Simplicity I think I can't remember and then they also have the Burnside bibs um, any kind of pinafore would be perfect in this but I chose something different I chose another um, older pattern this one isn't like super old this one's I would say 90s or early 2000s and a little denim jacket out of corduroy. I think that would be a fun thing to throw on. Um, I like this jacket. I think it has flattering details. You know, there's a couple of long ones. I imagine this one might even be corduroy and then they put that fleece in there. I just think that would be cute in in any kind of corduroy really and so I pulled that because the obvious thing that we would all do with that beautiful corduroy would be to make one of the pinafores or one of the overall dresses and there's a bunch out there you probably own one all right next fabric is just pretty it's not especially you know it's not special like the um, Boussac fabric or anything like that I just bought it because it's beautiful um, it is a coral and pink and olive green and orange print on a woven stripe. It is very, now, it's super crisp. It's, it's very crisp right here. This is brand new vintage fabric. It has never been um, washed. And so the hand of it is very stiff right now. Like they, you know, the sizing is still on it for sure. But it has, can you see? The woven stripes, so pretty. There's two woven, like it's almost like fagoting in there. Two, one, two, one, two, one. So pretty. I just, oh, that's just such a pretty. Oh, I forgot to tell you the yardage. Okay, so the corduroy. I guess I'm a slow reader. Oh, it's two yards of 64 inch wide fabric. So that's a lot of fabric. This fabric is a yard and a half of 44 inch wide. So what would I make with that? I would make just a crisp blouse any kind of crisp blouse. This is a vintage pattern, not vintage, vintage, but maybe sometime in the last 20 years. It is McCall's 2646. I just think it's a pretty um, blouse and it should be fairly quick. It has a flat collar, doesn't have a collar stand. So, um, you know, not too difficult to sew, I think. So that is, I would make a blouse out of that for sure. Um, this next fabric, 
There are two yards of it, and it's 45 inches wide. I bought this fabric because it's kind of amazing. It's not a substrate that I would wear because I believe that it is polyester. It's like a polyester chiffon. It is sheer. But the pattern, you guys, is off the chain. I mean, when I saw it, I was like, are you kidding me? And um, with the 70s being so popular right now, I snatched this bad boy up as quickly as I could. So wait for it. Oh my goodness. It is directional. You should know that this is a directional print. Horses, are you kidding me? And giant flowers and trees. Wait a minute, it's not directional. Nope, not directional. The horses go both ways and so do the trees. See, here's a tree this way, here's a tree this way. Oh, and the horses and the trees are kind of not together anyway, even when they're together. Like right here, you can see, here's a horse right by upside down trees. I love this fabric. I think whoever designed it must have been on acid. I mean, how do you come up with this, seriously? It's fantastic. And look how beautifully detailed it is. I mean, look at the flowers. Just let's have a look at this flower. Am I showing you the right side? Yes, I think so. Anyway, this is what I call a special fabric. It isn't, I don't know that it's from the 70s, but just the print is special. This is unforgettable. Whatever you make out of this, people will remember it. I love it. And I pulled this top. This is Simplicity 2230. Any kind of light, flowy, tunicky thing. This is a thrifted pattern, obviously. I paid 49 cents for it. This view that she's wearing would be fantastic. Any kind of kimono, it's just, it's, it's special. It's super cool to look at. All right, this next fabric,